fathers did not tell me about all this incision itching. It's driving me crazy. If you're interested in hearing about my experience with my first family gathering after surgery, stay tuned. Hey, hi. <laughs> so, I had to tell y'all about my first gathering after having sleeve surgery sorry about that um my first experience with a family gathering after sleeve surgery so today was actually my brother's birthday and my mom's birthday is next week but we decided to go ahead and celebrate her birthday um since it's during the weekend it was just easier for me and my siblings and their family to get together on the weekend sorry I'm shaking I scratch my arm I'm sorry um so my oldest brother he put all this together you know we some the, the rest of the siblings actually helped but it was his idea um there was tons of food okay um he fried whiting he fried some grouper uh, he made some chicken wings, some hot dogs, hamburgers, coleslaw, um, potato salad, baked beans. Um, there was also some pasta salad that my mom actually made for it. But all of that. Um, and he made some pork chops, I think. But I couldn't eat any of that. But you do know what I could have eaten. And I brought that with me. And that was some beef broth. I brought my little traveling um, cooler that I have with me with my stuff in it I wasn't even tempted and there were three cakes my nephew he brought this mango cake it looked so good um he brought a cake and then there were two dozen cupcakes so there was some vanilla and chocolate with chocolate ice and cupcakes and then buttercream um cupcakes with two cakes one was a red velvet and one was a chocolate both had yellow um cake didn't want it wasn't even tempted. Um, and I'm proud of myself because, especially after having surgery that soon, and nobody was like, oh, you're going to eat or anything like that. They were just like, you know, they know well, you can't have this, you know, but we got this if you need it. Because my brother did get some broth and stuff just in case. Um, but I, I'm, I'm being honest, I wasn't tempted at all. Because I knew if I did attempt to eat that, I'd be back in the hospital on my way there right now. So, um, this journey is not for the weak. You have to mentally be prepared for it. Because the thing that people don't understand is that this is just a tool. It's not changing your mindset. It's not changing your mental. The only thing that it's doing is restricting how much food you can take in. Um, so if you are uh, looking at doing, whether it be the sleeve, the gastric bypass, the ruin Y, the Sabi, I think it is, do your research and make sure that this is the best decision for you. Because if you're not mentally ready for it, it's not going to work. It's not going to work at all. And I'm one of those, those real people. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. If you are mentally not ready, don't do it because it's not easy it takes a lot of willpower it takes a lot of dedication and the need to want to do it um and just your mental being in the right place um i could have ate that stuff but I, i'd be sick probably busted my sutures um and my stomach's still healing so i'm i have to pat myself on the back and i'm not bragging or anything like that but it was hard um, to be around that food and not be tempted to eat it. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to come and share that with you guys to let y'all know how my first gathering went after having VSG surgery. So I will more than likely be doing another video tomorrow, just talking about the things that I purchased to prepare for my surgery, um, for at before and after. Um, so y'all can see that. 
So thank you always for being supportive and watching my videos. I appreciate you guys. If y'all have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Put them in the comments, and I will answer them for you guys. So I'm getting ready to go to bed now because I'm tired. So my MS is still MSing, you know, even though I did what I did on Wednesday. Um, so I'm going to go get some rest, and I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace, love, and blessings always.